bringing your young kids to Universal, here's some tips and tricks to help you out. Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick here at Universal Orlando Resort, a great place for families with rides, shows, and attractions to keep everyone, even the kiddos, entertained. But if you've never been before, or it's been a while since you visited with kids, it can be a little overwhelming. That's why I wanted to share some tips with you today to help make your trip with your little ones a little bit easier. Universal Orlando Resort is made up of three parks. Universal Studios Florida, Islands of Adventure, and the water park Volcano Bay. Today I'm going to walk you around studios and islands giving you my best tips and tricks to have a good park day with the kiddos. First, bring plenty of snacks. Snacks can be a lifesaver when the kids start to get a little angry. It's also a good idea to bring a stroller, especially if you have younger kids. There's a lot of ground to cover and it's much easier to push a stroller around than to carry a tired little one on your back. If you don't want to bring your own stroller, Universal does rent strollers. The stroller rental is located near the front of the park on your left and will cost you $35 per day. Another tip is to plan out your day in advance. Take a look at the park map and decide which rides and attractions you want to hit up first. That way you can avoid wasting time trying to figure out what to do next. Getting inside the park and then asking your kids, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Is a recipe for disaster. Universal's website, universalorlando.com, has an interactive map on it. Check it out before you come. Don't forget to take breaks. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement, but it is important to take some time to rest and recharge. Find a shady spot, sit down, and enjoy those snacks we talked about earlier. Your kids and you will be thankful. For Universal Studios, I would suggest Music Plaza, Central Park, the Animal Actors Seating Area, and the Docks near Pier 41. At Islands of Adventure, I would suggest the waterfront area by the port of entry, and a great spot would be behind me ship the olive. Also, an area that is nearly always free of a crowd, right behind one fish, two fish. Make sure you use the child swap system if you have younger kids who may not be tall enough for certain attractions. The child swap system allows one parent to ride while the other parent stays behind with the child and then they can switch places without having to wait in line again. So really, instead of child swap, maybe we should call this parent swap. Also, to that regard, a tip would be to make sure to check the height requirements for rides beforehand. It can be disappointing for kids and parents if they're not tall enough to ride their favorite attractions. You can find the height requirements listed on the Universal Orlando website or app. And each park has a height requirement board near its entrance. Pack a few extra supplies like sunscreen, hats, and ponchos. Florida can be hot and sunny, so it's important to stay protected. And if it happens to rain, having a poncho on hand can save you from getting drenched. Consider purchasing a Coke Freestyle Refillable Cup with unlimited refills. This can be a cost-effective way to stay hydrated throughout the day. It also comes in handy for storing snacks and small items. And you don't have to buy each person in your party a cup if you're willing to wait and to share. Freestyle cups can be refilled every 10 minutes, so maybe take turns using it. I've done a video all about the freestyle stations and cups. I'll leave a link to that video. Or maybe what you want to do is use our number one tip of bringing collapsible cups to get free water at the freestyle stations as much as you want. There is a link in the description box for those cups. It's our viewers' number one favorite tip. Take breaks and explore the non-ride attractions. Universal Orlando has a lot more to offer beyond just the rides. Take some time to visit the shops, see a show, or meet some favorite characters. Many of your kids' favorite characters from movies and TV shows can be found at Universal Orlando. Keep an eye out for character meet and greet opportunities happening on Hollywood Boulevard, inside of SpongeBob Store Pants Store, and near Krusty Land. At Islands of Adventure, Seuss Landing is a great spot for character meet and greets, as well as Marvel Superhero Island. 
And as far as Seuss Landing goes, it is the number one spot at Universal Orlando Resort for the children. It's got the best kid rides, the best kid meet and greets, the best kid activities. It's the hot spot for the kiddos. The Midway Games areas can also be a fun non-ride activity for the younger kids. At Studios, Krusty Land is full of these games. At Islands of Adventure, there's the Midway Games in between Marvel Superhero Island and Toon Lagoon, and in Jurassic Park, a small Midway Games section. Holy smokes, I almost forgot the kid play area here in Islands of Adventure called Camp Jurassic. It's located in Jurassic Park, of course. I'm wondering, should I even mention this next non-ride activity? Oh heck, I think I will. You could just let your kids play in the splash zone of the Jurassic Park River Adventure. If you don't mind them getting wet, it will keep them entertained and cooled off. See the kids, they just stand right there waiting for the splash. Mom and dad, you're over here at this table, chilling out, having a drink, watching them, staying safe and dry. It's a win-win for everyone. Aha, missed me. A classic tip, capture the special moments. Everyone carries a smartphone nowadays, so I don't have to remind you to take pictures of your fun times, but I would like to mention, maybe you would want to purchase the Universal Photo Pass to get some pictures of those on-ride moments. You'll want to have plenty of photos to look back on and remember your trip. Another tip to consider would be to purchase Express Passes. Now these will allow you to skip the regular lines on certain rides and attractions, which can be a huge time saver. Nobody, especially kids, enjoys waiting in lines. Just keep in mind the Express Passes, like the Photo Pass, comes at an additional cost. I would also like to advise you to plan your trip around the busy seasons. If possible, try to visit during the off-peak months to avoid the crowds. This can make the experience more enjoyable for everyone. And now, my number one tip, don't forget to have fun. Above all, remember to just relax and have fun with your children at Universal Orlando as an empty nester. I can tell you they do not stay little for long, so don't sweat the small stuff. So those were my tips to bring in the kiddos to Universal Orlando. If you want to see some other Universal Orlando tips and tricks, Click this video right here. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Click it.